In this video, we're going to go from Fusion 360 to l laser cut different things out. So this will show you how to laser cut from Fusion 360 and put it in specifically into a software called Lightburn. So here is a, a part. What I want to do is I want to laser cut this bottom piece or uh, this top base piece. So I, what, I, what I had, what I've done is I have them saved right here and I'm going to actually just open up the bottom like so and what I got to do is I want to laser cut this entire face I do not need uh, a 3D model um, because I have that type of material already and so what I'm going to do is very easily uh, I'm going to create a sketch on that face the one that I want to laser cut uh, I'm going to project a geometry. You can hit P on your keyboard, or if you recall, project is down here under create, shortcuts P. And I'm just going to select that whole entire face one time and click OK and finish the sketch. What that did is it created a sketch and outlined every single part that I want to laser cut. Now that sketch is located under here or under one of your components. It's the only visible one. So once I have a sketch that I want to copy, I right click that sketch and say save as DXF. I'm just going to save this in my downloads and I'm going to call it uh, base bottom. Now that it's saved, we'll just leave it in the downloads and we'll go open up Lightburn. So I'm going to go to my desktop here and you should see a software called Lightburn that you can open up. If it's not there, you should be able to search for it here light burn uh, and be able to find it and so we'll go ahead and open that up when you first open it up it will say it'll have a screen similar to this now that you opened it up your screen should look similar to mine uh, you're going to click create manually you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and that's the one we're going to select that's the type of uh, controller we have for our laser you select USB and I just want to call it ICHS and I'm going to name it, or I'm going to give it a size, and it's 1200 millimeters by 800 millimeters. I'll click next and next again. After that, you're going to click finish, and then you can just click it and click OK. And so that is the size of our laser. So now we are ready to put in our sketch. So we're going to go to File and Import, and we'll go find that sketch. There it is, base bottom and it puts in the bottom right there. I'll zoom in on it and we'll do over a couple quick things. Uh, as you can see, uh, it shows up like we want it to be. Over here on the right hand side it says layers, which might show up for you. And it has our layer. It should all be the same color. If it's not, you can click and drag and select it all and make it just that first black color. If you cannot see your colors in the bottom of your screen, make sure you maximize your screen to see them. We're going to double click that layer and we're going to make sure it's the mode is line and the speed we're going to put at 16 and the power at 100 and click OK. Then with that done you could actually initial or put your initials on this layer somewhere if you want to. So I'm going to use text and really quickly I can just double click and maybe put my last name hit the arrow and I can resize this and we'll put that in there somewhere kind of in the middle I'll just put it right here just for the sake of time where you can kind of do it wherever you want now I'm not going to use the same color because otherwise that will cut all the way through so I'm going to with that selected I'm going to select a blue color and instead of fill I'm going to select line and I'm going to have this speed really fast so like 100 and I'll leave the power at 10 Now we can see exactly how it how it works. Uh, I don't want I want the blue to go before the black. I want to kind of engrave my name before I cut everything out. So I can click this arrow right here, move this with this selected. I can click this arrow up, and then I can use this little TV to preview this, and it will show me when I press play, play exactly what it's going to do. And we want it to cut the outside last, and then we know we're good. It also gives me the estimated time. This will only take 44 seconds. Now when we're ready, we are completely done for this 
portion, we can just save this. So you can go to File, Save As, and save in the correct location.